What's new in Cloud BCI 2.426.2.2? On December 13th, 2023, Cloud BCI 2.426.2.2 was released. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the changes that happened in that release. Also on December 13th, Jenkins LTS 2.426.2 was released. On December 14th, I did a video with Mark Waite about what's new in Jenkins LTS 2.426.2. If you would like more details about that release, the link to that video is down in the description. Now, if you've never taken a look at the CloudBees CI release notes before, let me show you how to get there. We're going to be starting at docs.cloudbees.com. Under documentation, let's go to CloudBees CI. And then under the documentation dropdown, select release notes. And then this is the homepage for all of the release notes for CloudBees CI. Now, let's go ahead and scroll down this page just a little bit, and you'll notice an important section. You'll see that if you skip versions when you upgrade, Refer to previous versions of the release notes for any relevant known issues or upgrade notes. Well, what does that mean? The current version is 2.426.2.2. Let's say that I'm upgrading from a version that is 2.414.3.7. That means I would need to go ahead and go through the release notes for 414.3.8, and then 426.1.2, and then 426.1.3 and so on until I get back to the version that I'm currently installing. I would need to take a look at the known issues and the upgrade notes for each of those releases to understand what changes I might need to make in my environment. As a Cloud BCI client, we recommend an assisted update to help make that update process easier. There is a link down in the description about how to get help with an assisted update. So as we can see here with our release notes, we have two different versions. We have traditional platforms and we have modern cloud platforms. We'll go through traditional platforms first, and then we'll go over and take a look at any of the differences that are specific to modern cloud platforms. Now, before we even get started with that part, you'll notice this big red block that states removal of unnecessary demonized dependency in the Cloud BCI traditional RPMs. Up until this release, when you were installing Cloud BCI traditional, whether that was the operation center or the client controller on any RPM-based installation, whether that was Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, Alma Linux, or any of the other variations, you would also have to install Demonize in order for Cloud BCI to even run. Now with this release, that dependency has been removed and you also no longer need to have a dependency on the Apple repository. So let's go ahead and go into the full release notes for traditional platforms. We'll note here at the very top that there was a security advisory that was issued at the same time that the release for Cloud BCI was made. I'm gonna leave it up to you to take a look at that security advisory. There are a number of issues with some plugins. Some have been resolved and some haven't. So take a look through that security advisory. And if you have any of the plugins that are in that security advisory, be sure to follow the instructions about what to do next. In this release, there are no new features, but there are quite a few feature enhancements. You'll notice here at the top, we have a number of high availability enhancements. One of the most interesting ones that came out with this release is this last one, warning users if the current replica is outdated. So with high availability, you have multiple replicas of the same controller running at one time. There is a time when you're upgrading those replicas, you might be a version behind. Previously, we had no way of actually seeing that, but now there's a warning to tell you if one of the replicas is outdated or not compared to the replica that you're on. Next up, we have two sections for CloudBees Pipeline Explorer. The top section is specific to the search experience, and then the bottom section is just enhancements in general to Pipeline Explorer. For the search experience, we had three items called out here, but the one I wanna call out specifically is the one in the middle. There is an added search timeout limit of one minute on Pipeline Explorer. Previously, if you did a search, it would run until it completed. Now it's going to time out after one minute. If we look down in the general notes, I wanna call out the top one. The expand icon now opens in the same tab by default instead of opening in a new tab, leading to an improved user experience. In the next section, we have a number of feature enhancements for configuration as code or CASC. And then the next one, support for custom app role paths and authentication configuration is related to the CloudBees HashiCorp Vault plugin. Now let's go down to the resolve section. We've already talked about removing the demonized dependency. We also have a number of resolved issues for high availability. I wanna call out one of these HA resolved issues specifically, it's at the bottom, an error during the rolling upgrade of the high availability controller. If you were upgrading, when the first version came out in October to the November release, there would be an error related to a newly defined type, which caused replicas not to start. That's been resolved. Let's go down to the next section, configuration as code resolved issues. We have a list of those as well. 
and then a handful of other miscellaneous items that have been resolved. Now let's go over to our Modern Cloud Platform and take a look at those differences that are specific to Modern Cloud Platform. So if we take a look at the full release notes, we'll go down to Feature Enhancements, and there are two items that are specific to Modern Cloud Platforms. Number one is the Improved Cloud Management User Experience, and the second is updating the pod template list and editing pod templates one at a time. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the resolved issues. There's another HA item that's specific to Modern Cloud Platforms, and it's multiple build runs on HA controller due to duplicated webhooks. This has now been resolved in Cloud BCI for Modern Cloud Platforms. If we go ahead and scroll down a little bit more, there are a couple more items that are specific to Modern Cloud Platforms. The first one is the YAML file is not validated in the default YAML field of configure controller provisioning. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have two more, the allow multi-line pod security context in a Helm chart, and then finally support for octal notation and Kubernetes YAML snippets restored. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.